We've now got some more animations defined. We've got ambient, which is just a single frame. We've got walk, which is frame 0 through to 7. We've got fall, which is frames 16 and 17. We've got crash, which is frames 18 through to 30. And when that ends, it resets it back to ambient and it sets our angle for our bucket to zero so it sets it upright again and it also has a pour event which has a sequence of frames like this we're also defining in our init, init method a couple of constants default category and draggable category when we create a body in the first place, one of the things we can do is pass in a variety of options. So as well as it having an X and Y position, a width and a height, it can also take in a series of options. In this instance, we're giving it a name and we're also giving it a collision filter. In this particular instance, the collision filter for the bucket in this instance is draggable category and we're setting the friction to a very low setting and then we define various um, bodies which are all rectangles and some of them are clickable and some of them aren't and we also define what the collision filter category is when we use our mouse constraint having created it, we set a mask and only if the collision filter is set to a draggable category, in other words if, the, if it's set to 2, only then will the mouse constraint allow it to be dragged. Notice how by using the collision start event we can set different animations for our bucket. If it hits the floor, then we're going to set the animation to crash. If it hits the bath, then we're going to set the animation to pour. You've got to use your imagination for bath. It's actually just this box over here. Um, and we also define whether or not there is a support for our, our bucket which we're going to use to control the animations as well. In, in the update for the game, we, we check the velocity of the bucket physics body and we, be, we use that to decide whether or not we need to start it doing a walk. If the velocity is greater than, if the velocity in the X is greater than 1, then we set the animation to walk and we've, we also if the bucket's not supported then we set the animation to fall so that gives it the kind of scared look on it on his face by there and then there's a crash when it hit the floor and so we have physics which is great fun to use and allows you to do cool stuff like that this video is from my udemy course html5 game development beginner to pro to get the full course at a great discount pull down the description